Okay, who initiated the first kiss? Who apologizes first after a fight? Who is the funny one? <laughs> who is more romantic? Wait. Who is the most patient? Who's the better cook? That's easy. Who said I love you first? Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? You definitely chose me. Who is grumpier in the morning? Who's more stubborn? <laughs> Who's the bigger baby when sick? <laughs> Who is the social butterfly? Who is the messy one? Huh? Fuck. <laughs> no people are putting up all these fancy recipes, but dude, I got no fancy recipe. I got leftover recipes. So today is about rice to rotla. Leftover rice to rotla. How do we do this? Very easy. Start. You got your leftover rice. Little bit. I got some dahi. I got mirchi. I got mirchi powder. I got some salt and I got a kanda. That's all. Let's do that. Take a bit of rice that you have left over. Add some dahi in it just to kind of soak it in. Little salt, little haldi and let it sit for 10 minutes. Mother-in-law says cut the onion very, very fine. Remove the chilka first. Stop micromanaging. Stop. Remove the chilka. <laughs> Enjoying being in quarantine with their mother-in-law. <laughs> so, have I cut it fine enough? Chalega. Chalega. Split it into half and then half. Half, half is enough. Half is enough. Slip it into half. Because my mother-in-law loves mochi. She loves mochi. We have to always put this on my mother-in-law. Then how much? That's it? No? No? Fine enough? Fine, fine, fine. But <laughs> daddy is making me cut mirchi. Beautifully cut. Hans is a beautifully cut. Says beautifully cut. Okay, so all I've done is put mirchi, kanda, little mirchi powder, isko your dahi chawal with your haldi and your namak. And that's it. We're ready. We're going to put atta and we're going to make this rotla. Right, so she's a pro at this. I'm not very good. So we're taking that mixture, we're mixing atta, and we're making it into like a dough just to like bail out first. We have flowers and tattoos. That's my mother in law for you. Chalo, atta banya. So we've used like a non-stick pan and basically, you know what, it doesn't have to be perfect. It is a very wet dough which could break, but you know what, it turns out to this crazily tasty rotla, I can promise you that. Uh, a little bit of oil just around the corner. Let it get down on one side and then you flip it around. Messy mama, messy kitchen. This makes it very crispy and it has to get much more brown. Much more brown. That's a good color. Instead of just standing there, get a plate. Alright. Okay, I promise you this is damn tasty. And you know what I love is like seriously my mother-in-law is the leftover queen and I used to make fun of it. So all these years, but it's actually coming into <laughs> it's coming into great news right now. So, thank you! Ta -da. Ta -da. Now I'm gonna eat. I swear to God, leftover chawal ka rotla is super easy. It is super yummy and I guarantee you try it. It is the best thing you will have today. Thank you.